This is Acer Nitro N50-640. It's a desktop PC. And today we're going to reinstall Windows 11 in UEFI format, okay? So first of all, you need to create one bootable Windows 11 installer. You can do that by using Rofus. This is one of the easiest way to create your bootable Windows 11 thumb drive. And if you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. So first, switch off. Plug in your USB installer, press the power button and keep pressing delete. So this is the only way to get into BIOS for Acer Nitro N50. And then we're going to get into a few settings, change it, and then it should be ready. So first of all, we're going to leave the CQ boot enable. This is the first thing. And here is the model number. And there is another settings that we must need to keep it disabled, which is called VMD. If you leave the VMD enable, it's not going to let you find your internal SSD or hard drive. I mean the internal storage to install your system in there. Okay, so let's secure boot enable. And at this moment, we're going to leave VMD enable. And also TPM support, as you can see, we're going to leave it enable. And then I'm going to show you what happens if you leave the VMD enable. Okay. And now we're going to choose the first boot option as a USB, which is called removable media or removable device. And then we're going to go to exit, save the changes, restart the system, and that should. Yeah, that should be fine, I believe. Now let's go to exit. Double check, secure retainable, save it, and exit it. Now we can do another thing. So we can keep pressing F2 to get into temporary boot option. We're going to keep pressing while it turns on. And that should allow us to choose temporarily the boot option. The UEFI Kingston Data Travel is my Windows 11 installer. As you can see, it shows the Windows logo means it's loading up. And remember, at this point, we left the VMD enable. So it seems pretty cool, everything, right? Why I left it like this to show you what happened? Because many people get this issue. They said, I created the Windows installer correctly. Everything was fine, but it doesn't show my internal SSD. Here you go. It shows there is nothing. Okay. If you load driver, still you're not going to see anything. Why? Because the VMD is enabled. So what are you going to do now? We're going to cancel this installing and we're going to restart it, get into BIOS again, try to find VMD settings, and then we're going to disable the VMD for Acer. And if you do have any, any, brand does not matter this is Acer, Dell or HP, you have to disable it, especially for 10, 11 and 12 gen processor from Intel. So let's go to advanced integrated profile. I don't see here. Okay, let's go back. If you press ESC button once, he's going to go back. Yeah, and then let's go to integrated settings. And then you see VMD. It shows enable hit enter choose disable select the disable button and then hit enter now yeah okay now yes the button again the rest everything should be fine and we left the tpm enable okay save it and exit it and at this time, it's going to show us internal available SSD or hard drive. Let's keep pressing F2 to get into temporary boot option. From here, let's choose the USB installer. Let's hit next. You can use your mouse. Install now.
accept the terms and condition do the clean installation and now here we go it shows both of the drives are available i'm going to delete everything but be careful make sure you back up your data because if you delete it you're going to lose all your data so please do it carefully make sure you back it up if you do have any sort of data in there and then i'm going to delete all the partitions i can see there are two drives one is the actual 3.5 in SATA hard drive we're going to keep it for storing data only and there is another one drive one this is internal m.2 nvme ssd so i'm going to keep this one for windows and i'm going to hit next and now it's going to load up everything so you're going to wait until the end to see if the boot is successful and then we might have few tasks we need to update the drivers and everything okay Right, so everything looks fine we need to update all the drivers remember this is the first things that you need to do after installing any windows to any pc laptop desktop does not matter and then everything should be fine if you would like to know how to update the drivers please let me know in the comment section and i will try to make another videos and if you do like please don't forget to like and subscribe i hope i'll see in the next video thanks for watching bye for now